the fuck is y'all doing? What's popping, yo? What's up, y'all? What's up, Missy? Missy? What's popping, y'all? What's up, Sanders? What's up, Miss Sanders? Good morning. It's this is like juvenated. How y'all doing? Good morning. What's up, Miss Green? What's up, Queens? How y'all doing this morning? I don't feel like getting up out of bed sometimes. This my fucking bed. Man, y'all know how y'all be sleeping good. And y'all know how y'all get them good warm calls. You got them right sheets. You got the right fluff in there, bitch. And it's like, especially as women, like, you know what I'm saying? Good morning. Y'all know how, like, y'all don't want to get up out of bed. Like, you got to go to work, right? And then you look at your bed like, fuck. Let me lay in this bitch one more time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm doing fine. I finished my hair. Man. It took me like a day to have to finish. <sighs> yeah, I did my own shit, y'all. I be like, fuck. I miss green. I mean, you know, y'all know how y'all don't go get your coffee and shit, right? Because I know I got to get up and brush my teeth, wash my face, do all this shit. No, I'm just sitting here in bed, right? And I looked outside and I said, thank God, thank you for letting me wake up again, right? I go into this deep, deep sleep, right? And I'm like, Waking up into another beautiful day on a Monday, right? And, you know, I'm always laying here thinking like, damn, the fuck just happened, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how y'all get y'all beauty sleep and you be like, damn, do I got to get up and go to work today? Fuck. You know what I mean? You be like that sometimes. And it's like, you stay in your bed like, you be like, do I want to get up? Do I want to get up? Do I just want to be a lazy ass to play here, right? Because y'all know I got to go to work tonight. Yeah, I've been getting my beauty rest all weekend. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, my husband was like, uh, I think it was like on a Wednesday last week. My husband was like, you need to do something to your hair, right? You know what I mean? A bitch like me going to just let this shit grow and happy, right? So I get up online. I look like for some, like some different styles of braids, right? I ran across some motherfucking way how to put braids in your hair easy. Instead of just going through... Grabbing your hair, put the braid around, and break that shit out, right? This African lady showed me how to hold brand new technique, how to braid fucking hair. And I should have been doing this shit for a long ass time, how to braid hair. And I know how to braid hair. You see this? I did this shit by myself for free. For free. And this shit look good like a motherfucker look. 
I can put my baby hairs out every motherfucking night. I, you know me, I'm gonna go to work, bitch. Look at me looking. Ooh. But I'm in bed right now. Y'all see my baby hairs? They so cute, huh? They so cute. Look at my little baby hairs. I so cute. Look at that curly. <laughs> I know today gonna be a good fucking day because I still hate me even gotta find my motherfucking bed. And, um, you know, there be days, you know, motherfuckers just feel like just laying in motherfucking bed, just like, damn, I don't even want to go to this bullshit job. He be like, fuck, I got to go to this bullshit ass job and still got to deal with these all whack ass people. You know how you be like this sometimes, right? And you be like, damn, what, what, what's, what's going to pop the next day? You sit there, right? And check this, check this out, check this right. So, in the moment of the time, you know, <laughs> I know what makes it so funny to me. I, can see I just thought about something really crazy. Yeah. I hope y'all like the service. <laughs> I ain't even got up out of bed yet. <laughs> you know, it's just so funny. Let me tell y'all what's so fucking Oh, good morning, big sis. How you doing? Y'all know what's so fucking funny about the whole situation, right? Let me tell y'all this. <laughs> and I just thought about this just a moment. God is a hot mess, though. <laughs> 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 These niggas thought they could just do anything. They thought they could just chicken with me. They thought... <laughs> Dead is crying right now. <laughs> I'm just sitting back at all the shit that have people have done. Y'all fucking Shit, that shit is so funny to me because God, 
All right, so I'm looking back, right, at all this shit that happened, right? All right, so let me tell y'all this, right? <laughs> you look really stupid. Y'all be doing so much. <laughs> Y'all be doing so much, right? This is what makes me dead. This is what me dead ass dead. Y'all like, right? Now, I went back, right? All right, so. <laughs> and this is so, so funny because I got this, this, this girl that has this fake page, right? And, um, somebody just screenshot it to me, right? This is so funny. They said the girl is obsessed with me, right? But she want to know that she want to know if uh, the divine masculine over here, right? <laughs> and I know moved on, right? And um, this is this is where it's funny, y'all. This whole situation with. My fucking ex. All my exes are coming back in my life, right? I don't want them, right? And I run across you two, right? Now, this is so funny. Plies know that he's not going to cheat on me, right? But what's so funny was he said a girl had... Why he ran up onto the story, you know, and you know I've been I've been following my baby daddy for a while, right? We talk once on the blue moon, and um, uh, I ran across his page, right? And he was like, "I ain't got to cheat on Bay, Bay, no, I ain't got to cheat on him, right?" And I just got laughing, right? Because I shot, I I call the calls, right? I call a call that, right? This girl is obsessed with me, right? And it's so funny, y'all, why this bitch is obsessed with me, right? She's so child, like everything that I do, like if I'm laying in the bed, right? She laying in the bed, right? Like ain't nobody on my side, right? Ain't nobody in my bed at all. Just me, me and hubby. Hubby at work right now. So, and I run across one of her little things, right? I ran across one of her videos, right? She so try to act like me. Like, every little thing that she ever, you know, like, I don't get it when people try to mock you. And it's, it, dude, me and last night, me and my husband, um, me and the Divine Masculine, yes, bitch. Um, we was watching it, right? And we, and it was just so funny, like, how do you not know that the whole operation was not about you, Carmen? The whole operation was about me. Baby mama. Daddy loves me. And he ran across your shit. You tried. It's not even working, honey. And by the way, he don't want you. Mm -mm. No protocol. No part of you, bitch. You is trouble. You trouble. And it was just so funny because Bay was like, this bitch crazy. I'm like, 
How is she crazy? Is she obsessed over me? She's mocking everything I do. Just like I was telling him, like, if I get pregnant, she want to get pregnant. Uh, but I'm not pregnant. That's the thing about it. I'm not pregnant. And, you know, and then, like, it's like, she can't never. This is why I don't get it, y'all. You know how bitches can't never be the original? They try too hard. They try to way too motherfucking hard. And he was telling me that this girl was really trying to act like me. He really tried to be me. How the fuck can you be somebody when you ain't that person? Like this girl tried to take my style, the way I wear it, the way I put it together. Like, y'all know when I get dressed, y'all know a bitch like me, gon' shut that motherfucker down. Period. Right? So I was asking, like, I'm like, babe, like, why won't, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like chopping it up. Like, so why is this whole bother? You know what I'm saying? And I was like, mm, she's bothering because of what? So this whole time, you really think that I'm about to fight over a grown ass man? This bitch thing that I'm about to fight over a grown as man. I don't fight over men. I replace them. That's that's how you know that do not mean. Why would I fight over another man when another man is already in my bed? And we live together. Like I don't understand. Like who does that? Like, you mad because my nigga don't want you. But you mad because he won't be with his divine feminine. That's how that's supposed to go. That's my soulmate. <laughs> you think that he going to crawl right back over there where you at, little mama? I don't think that's going to happen. Good morning, big sis. Good morning. Like... These hoes really think that my nigga want these hoes. Nah, my nigga do not want y'all. Period. My nigga do what he want to do. As long as my nigga get a hot plate in his stomach, that nigga ain't got no question to ask. Period. And I should say shit. That's just life. And if I want to be in the house all the time, and I don't, that's what that's what's called homebody. I don't even go outside. I don't even like going outside. Because you know why? Because I'm allergic to the sun. How about that? I can't go outside. Ever since I was little, my skin boils of sun. That's why you don't catch me swimming. That's the reason why you don't. Catch me outside. That's the reason why y'all don't never see me go outside. I'm talking y'all see me go outside is when I'm covered. Okay. That's the reason why I was when I was a child, my mama never put me out in the sun. She always covered me. Cause my skin boils. I have a medical issue. The radiation to the sun boils my skin. And it's not sad that I can't go nowhere. I could go to places as long as I'm in the car. But other than those, I don't like going outside. And going outside is, I don't want to catch COVID-19. I don't like to be around people. I don't have no friends. I'm a savage soldier of God. I work for God. And I'm very, very sanctified. I'm a servant of God. And I just feel like this girl is really, you the idol of the devil. But everybody making it seem like it's me and it's not. People need to understand one thing. I am very, very, very enlightened to what, who I am. And no, I am not the karmic. I am the empress, the high priest, the divine feminine. And a lot of, like, this girl, she just like to hate. Like, bitch, why are you hating, though? 
Why are they hating on Gucci, y'all? Why are they hating? But y'all didn't destroy my name because, baby, listen. If I don't even get up on Facebook, if I don't even get up on social media, my motherfucking name's still talking about in the streets. The community. All in the tarot. They ain't shit that what people can't do or what they can't do. I don't think I, I don't think I can tell y'all the best. Live your life in the best that you can live. Because God said, if you know if the enlightenment comes within you, it'll come from the sun, right? It comes from the sun. You understand? God said, if you if you know that your light is coming from the sun, then why would you even try to fuck with God's children? See, y'all need to know something about in life. You cannot please everybody in your life. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can wake up and have a good fucking day, right? But you can't. You can't please everybody. You only can please yourself and what you want to come from. What's within yourself? I had to learn some shit this weekend, right? Let me tell y'all what I learned this weekend. I learned two things this weekend. If you don't put yourself first, you can't put your stuff, yourself at all, right? I had I had a real, real, real bad dream about my twin sister. Now, I am a motherfucking twin. Asia is my motherfucking twin. I love my sister. With all my heart. Now. I woke up at the middle of the night crying. Pacing myself. It was like I was at nine of swords. Didn't like to sleep. I started rocking myself. And I was telling myself. I don't know. It was just in that moment. That I was like. I can't do this shit no more. I don't want to do this shit no more. Where do I need to be at? And then all of a sudden, I said, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing and I'm going to keep going, right? And my husband, looked, he grabbed me and said, baby, what's wrong? I said, I don't want to do this no more. He said, what you don't want to do? I said, I don't know. I just got to get it together and think about it, right? I don't know if it was a rebirth. I don't know the way I was feeling, right? Something just, you know, my grandfather hovered over me for a moment. My husband holds me for almost about an hour and a half for me to stop crying. I said, baby, it's going to be okay. Because he know I won't cry unless something is really dramatic with me. You know, I'm very, 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 very sensitive. I mean, I'm a sensitive bitch, okay? Um, we all are sensitive bitches, a sensitive bitch, but he knows that I don't cry unless I'm mad, unless I'm just going to go head to head with your motherfucking ass. It's the only time that he know that I fucking cry. My nigga know me very well, because he got to know me, and he was like, why are you crying? Like, I'm like, I, I, I'm talking about. When I say the dream, I can remember the dream like it was yesterday. And I love my sister. I love my twin sister. I just kept feeling her soul like, help, help me. And it was in my dream. I just bust out crying like, yo, what's popping? What's going on? So I try to call her and call her and call her. I try to call her. Try to call and see if she aight. But I call my dad and my mom. They're like, she good. Like, yo, she good. Like, I be worried about my sister. She's the only thing that had put me through what I am. As a person. Not what I am today. As a person. As a, a, a twin sibling. Like, y'all know this twin shit is really genetic. DNA. Like, y'all could actually feel your twin I don't know how this shit work, 
But I, it's like, I can feel my sister when she's mad, I get mad. I can feel my sister when she cries, I cry. I don't know, some genetic shit with DNA about twinsies. You know, that could be a good twin and that could be a bad twin. Or y'all both could be even of twins with this opposite. Okay? Now... The way that your twin feel, this way you feel. Now, my twin live in Dallas. And I love my twin, my twin sister. We just alike. She do hair, I do hair. She do makeup, I not do makeup. I just don't know how to do the nails. I go get my shit done, period. Um, my shit stay done, period. Toes, nails, hair, tay done all the time. Don't got a problem. I pay for that shit. My nigga pay for it too when he want to. When I'm on a good day. When I'm acting good. Not bad. Good. Um, and you know, I was just thinking like, wow, it was a rebirth that I had. But it was a way through a dream that I did. My first rebirth was a two-headed snake. And I was running like a, a marathon. Like I was running a marathon when this happened. My first rebirth was a two-headed snake. I was running through a, uh, it was like I was running through a marathon with bikes. Like I was very athletic. And we had to get off the bike halfway and we had to run like two miles up this fucking hill. I got up to this hill and I took a break. I didn't know there was a motherfucking snake on the rock. Some just told me, run. So I was running, right? This motherfucking snake was coming after me, bitch. I was running my life. I went up on this hill and I started seeing traffic. I crossed this road, this traffic, and this fucking two-headed snake was still coming. And two-headed snake means a rebirth. I had a rebirth from God. It's like I died. Of being a snake. And then I woke up. To renew of a new snake. And I shedded my old skin. To make new skin. It was some weird shit in this dream. Let me tell y'all something. Our father could come. In our sleep like a thief in the night. And he would scare the shit out of you. And you wouldn't even notice. Just a bear to a crow. That God could come like a thief in the night in your sleep. Huh. Confirmation. And if you don't notice yourself. In the right proposition you put yourself in. Take five steps back. Then take seven, seven more down below. Down below means take seven steps within yourself down below to your heart, your soul, mind, body, and spiritually. Seven toes down below. That means to me, I got seven lives to keep living down to below and what is God straining me to be in his path. I looked at myself when I was running down that block. That two-headed snake was this close to bite me. And God said, and that's when I woke up. I got on my phone. When I woke up, my whole bed was sweating. Like I was sweating, like sweating. I looked up one day, my husband went to work. I hooked this shit up. I right, this guy, what's a two-headed snake? I looked this shit up on Google. He said I was in rebirth. It means rebirth and isolation. You died and God rebirthed you into a new life. And ever since that night and ever since that day, I knew what my life purpose was. 
I just knew where my life purpose was. And I still haven't got out of bed, y'all. This bed is so comfortable. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I like once my husband get up and go to work, I get on his side and sleep because I like I like his smell. And I just knew that 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 time that I needed there was a purpose why I was here. I didn't know what purpose that was. Everybody kept pointing at me like it's you, it's you. Everybody, everybody quit pointing at me like, it's you. Right? Y'all pointed the finger at the wrong person when it was y'all. Y'all pointed the innocent, y'all pointed at me because y'all thought it was my fault to carry all y'all baggage. And it wasn't. It was y'all fault. And they and they kept pointing at me. Like I needed to be the victim. I needed to be the person for all this blame. And which is the blame was them. Right? And then when I had that next dream about my sister Asia, I woke up again and I said, What does this mean? Google explained to me I had two rebirths. And God keep telling me, keep going. I keep climbing this ladder. I'm alone. I'm alone. But I'm not alone. Spiritually. I'm not alone. Spiritually. God would never leave me or my spiritual guides, or my ancestors, right? My great-grandma, my great-grandpa from the 1930s, and, well, 1902, between the 1930s, are with me. And my master's from the Egyptian side of what the Egyptians was, which that is in my family bloodline, is Egyptian. And the Eastern Egyptians of Rome and royalty of Egyptian, of Egypt, Okay? There's only one where to find Egyptian bloodline inside your blood, and that's mine. I'm the last where trait of royalty in my family bloodline. Of a black panther and of a queen of a cobra. You understand what that is? I have a dark shadow and I have a good shadow. Now, well, you got two sides of shadows. You, you could go in the dark or you could go in the light. And I choose to go in the light. And, you know, my second rebirth was like, what you want to do now? Your cycles are already closed out. It's completed. Victory is mine. Now, you cannot bring your old past life into a new relationship. You can't never do that. That's like telling yourself, this nigga gonna do the same shit that, that my last one did. Nah, this nigga gonna do better than that last nigga that's gonna be, right? And I'm sitting here like, I love this nigga. <laughs> And I'm like, he is the one for me. I just, he, he, he want me to see it, but I didn't see it, right? That night that I woke up, I seen it right there, what God said. It was there. I seen it when the day I was crying, I was hurting. I was crying in my heart. You know, it's good to cry. It cleanses your soul. Learn that from my grandmother in spirit. When he held me that night, I felt loved. I felt comfort. I felt warmed. I felt like that there was care. That I felt like a man don't like to see a woman cry. 
a man don't like to see a woman like cry, cry, cry. Like a man don't like seeing a woman break down. They don't. When I say they don't, they don't. A man see a woman cry. It's usually they usually walk out the door. They usually just don't care. They usually don't comfort the woman when they need to be comforted in the right time. Um, there's most men that let a woman like, okay, bitch, cry. And most women don't want to see, you know, I looked at that moment when he cuddles with me and, 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 and put his arms over me. I don't want to cry because I'm sensitive. It was, I felt comfort. I felt comfortable. And he had done a lot of shit that most people. He done a lot of shit. And I know, I know the truth. And I know that every person has a change. When they ready to change, they going to change. And a lot of people may say, yeah, a person could be an asshole. But do you really know that person, why he's an asshole? I looked at that, too, in both ways. In the inside, he cared. But on the 3D outside, it's like, I don't fucking care, right? But in that moment, I knew there was love. Comfort, caring. I felt confident. I felt love and I felt comfort. And that five step moment, I was like, you are the one. I cannot leave you. Because when you have a lion that keeps you warm in bed, when you have that man that watches that door, you have that man that who physically loves you and you have these moments of laughs and, and get milk and cookies and it's it's adorable. It's a blessing. It's happiness. It's like it's cool. Like I don't care. Like I would never make my husband mad. But I can tell you one thing. He would never make me mad unless there's something really funny. And I had I had odds to that, right? And I was like, I woke up the next day and I was like, I asked God, I was like, he's the one, right? And I had to look at myself. I was just like, well, if I wake up with blue eyes one day, that means I'm transforming into something that I wanted to be, right? And... I sat there and I sat there and I was just like, I love you. But in my mind, I'm like, we're going to have to take it really slow, step by step. I just can't believe someone when I know that he's part of me. And a lot of people get bad because I'm different. Because when you love someone, you love hard, right? And when you love someone deeply, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, just because two people are not on, he's on the same path, but he just does it in a sneaky way about his spiritual side, which then I have to understand why, because he's already a man. I just have to sit back and just watch him grow to be as that man. You know what I mean? So me growing as being a, a woman that's wise with wisdom, right? You have to learn something about yourself. Put yourself first. And everything around you will come together. And I'm a hard head. Hard head don't make us all fast. Here, I'm stubborn as a motherfucker. 
Nobody can't tell me shit. But I picture that what was so hard in every relationship. Because I was always the man and woman together. Now that I got my skirt, I can act like a wife. I can act like a woman. I can act like a lady. Because it's always been my guard up. My guard is still up. Masculine side of me. But my feminine side, it's like, I'm so sweet. I'm a, I'm a darling. I'm adorable. I'm like blessed i'm like beautiful i'm like pretty i'm cute i'm beautiful right i looked at him last night while he was sleeping my body inside of me just cried with love it's just so humble but it's so sweet and I ask myself, a bittersweet can be like a bitter love. But guys, I'm gonna get up out of here because you know, these fucking trolls and these narcissist people may be looking even I ain't a bitch. And by the way, Karmic, yeah, he was here with me last night. And by the way, bitch, don't be mad because daddy got his wifey back. 